We have been destroying a lot of mannequins lately. You are not gonna last very long, buddy. Hey Matt, where do you want this one? Yeah, just set those right over there, that'd be great. Hey, hey, get back here! Welcome to Demolition Ranch. Today is actually the second day of Christmas. And on the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a Meridian AK. This is actually called their Envy, and it's chambered in 556. More on this rifle in just a second, because my true love also gave me two more true loves. This is donut operator and Caleb Francis. Hello, guys. A little Hi. bit better than turtle doves. Yeah, basically Why yeah. better. Why are we here again? Because uh, I was going to get you to review this new AK. I just got this AK. It's sick. Tell us what you think about it. This is dope. We need to shoot it. Yeah. Yeah. Very Side cool. Side folder. No big deal. We put a dead air pyro on the muzzle here. That break is did not come with the rifle. We put that on there. It's got quad rail up front. Uh, it's US made AK-47, which I think is my first US AK-47. And it's my first chambered in 5.56. Yeah, that's pretty wicked. Do y'all have any 5.56 AKs? No. No. I've actually never shot one before. I said it was an AK-47. It's actually based on the AK-74 platform. Um, but my first 5.56 nonetheless. How long is that barrel? Well, Caleb, this barrel is 12.5 inches, which means it's a pistol. You can notice it's got a pistol buttstock on it. So it is a pistol. It does have a side folder stock on it. So it can get very tiny. We're gonna shoot it, but uh, you might notice these guys look extra cool today. It's because they're wearing Gators glasses. So if you don't remember a few videos ago, <laughs> we, uh, we did a video comparing Gators glasses against Walmart glasses. Gators are like $300, Walmarts are like, you know, $3 and the Walmart glasses beat the Gators. But then Gators reach out to us and they're like, hey, you uh, you shot our non-ballistic glasses. Oh, we were like, oh, oops. <laughs> sorry about that. So we did, uh, we shot their non-ballistic glasses. So they sent us two pair of their ballistic glasses, which actually one of those is not. Yours are ballistic. Yours are the regular ones. And then they did send us. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> They did send us a clear pair. So we have two pair of ballistics nice. glasses, one pair of regular ones. We are going to redo the test because we want to give them a fair shake and see if these expensive glasses are better than Walmart glasses. But as you saw in the last video, I'm thinking Walmart's the way to go. But we're gonna give it a fair shake. We're gonna start small. We're gonna do the rail gun first, just like last okay. time. So will you just wear them? It's just yeah. a rail gun, it probably yeah. would be fine. If you could stand this close, that'd probably be a good distance. I probably wouldn't miss. No, yeah. Gators seem confident, so yeah. as long as I can hit you in the glasses, mm -hmm. and, and the glasses work. Yeah, I'm confident. If you haven't seen the video, uh, go check it out. It was just a few videos ago. Pretty funny, and then I felt really bad when I found out we made them look bad by shooting the wrong product. But we didn't know, we thought they were all that ballistic stuff. <laughs> so today we're gonna test it. Real gun, Donuts never shot this. Caleb's never shot this. The sight doesn't work. If you hold it down, it'll five round burst really fast. So just like, just give it a little tiny bzz, 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 And it, it bounces back very dangerously, so I'm getting right behind you. Okay. You'll be fine. I told Donut, you gotta close your legs when this thing, you never know when they're gonna bounce back. Are you scared? I don't, I don't You're know. You're gonna shoot like a foot over it, I bet. Yep, that was, like a, that was a foot over it. <laughs> oh, you got him. Oh man, you hit it hard. How fun is that, right? That is really cool. I didn't know it shot that fast. Yeah, it shoots crazy. That rate of fire is Caleb, insane. Caleb, shoot it. Go crazy. Wow. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah, we need to order a bunch more of that ammo. Yeah, that's sweet. These things are super fun. All Thank right, you. we gotta go find the glasses and see what happened. <laughs> Their lenses are still in them. It definitely took a hit here, here, and here, I think. Can we bend them back to... I mean, they... <laughs> you can make it work. Yeah, your eyes are gonna be good. Yeah. Your eyes... Technically, your yeah. eyes did survive. Those lenses definitely are harder than before. Yeah. I'm just gonna put these back together, and then we can... Oh. And then we can go on. Good to go! <laughs> We're safe. Now the real test. We have a 22 long rifle. I have this little pistol. Same one we had before. We're gonna shoot, we're not seeing if we can stop a whole 22 flying at your face. So we're seeing if we can stop a 22 fragment, ricochet, bounce back, something like that. So it's gonna come here, hit this, pieces of it fly straight at that lens. It should stop them, but we'll see. Caleb's shooting 22, we're ready. Oh, 
I got hit with some ricochet there. Cool. Uh, I got dusted with some stuff. Let's see if the glasses got dusted with some stuff. You can see the dust on here probably, but it doesn't look like any scratches. Nope, that's solid. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing with a bigger caliber now. Step it up. Nine millimeter out of the KP9. Glasses went flying, may have taken a whole bullet. Look at that. Oh, wow. Looks like the bullet just completely ran up the front of it. Yeah, but that's a pretty good hit. But nothing went through. Okay. It's bulging in the back a little bit. So we actually turned that plate a little bit at an angle too, which probably was a little too much of an angle. So it probably took like half the bullet straight to yeah. that frame. Mm -hmm. That's pretty impressive. We just didn't want to ricochet into us at that <laughs> time. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I think it did stop the pieces of nine millimeter flying at it. So we'll shoot something bigger this time. On the first day of Christmas, we gave away something to a lucky winner. And we're doing that again today. If you order this shirt today only, we're gonna pick two people because it's the second day of Christmas to put in one of these. This is from Tor Knives. It's the Serpent. Check out how cool this thing is. So Tor was nice enough to send these to us. Look how cool that thing is. These are made in the USA, veteran owned and operated company. And so appreciate Tor for sending these knives to us. So to, you know what? Christmas is all about giving and I'm feeling giving. So you know, we're doing three on the second day of Christmas. It's my channel, I can do whatever I want. So we have three knives we're gonna randomly put, if you order this shirt, link's in the description below, we'll randomly put these in three of your packages going out. Today only. First time that I've ever seen a 5.56 AK fire on this channel. It's gonna be my donut. Nah. Giddy up, donut. Yay. Run it. Let's see if donut knows how to run it. Dude, that fireball coming out of the I know. Did you see that? I could feel that one, man. Holy yeah, shit. Dude, cool. that was sick. Did it feel good? Yeah. It didn't look like it was rising much. Mm -mm. Where's the safety on this guy? It's the same place that every AK has a safety. Uh, I haven't even shot an AK. What? Yeah. This is your first yeah, time, shooting, first time an shooting an AK? Yeah, And it's a specialty AK. It's right here. You just okay. push that whole thing down. A little okay. further. Go further down. Wow, oh, that's wow. crazy. I didn't know this. No, yeah. First time. Okay. Jeez, that fireball is insane. That's so cool. How, how did it compare to that, other AKs you've shot? <laughs> uh, pretty awesome. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, yeah, there's no recoil at all. <laughs> okay. Um, you know what this calls for? Is a epic cinematic slow motion shot. Epic. I'll probably never shoot a regular 762 AK again. Just kidding, I would, but 556. Sick! Okay, we're gonna shoot into this thing, bouncing it into that thing, and see if that thing does a thing where it, it explodes. That's the plan. The real test can Caleb load an AK magazine? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, second yeah. try. All right, we're shooting uh, one shot, okay. center of that plate. You got this. I believe in you. That thing's getting hot too. Yeah, it is. Mm. Did I that missed. go through the plate or did you miss? I missed. <laughs> <laughs> that was a hit. I didn't see the glasses go flying. No. So the 556 five, was going to explode a lot more. I think the 9 probably just carried mostly straight into those glasses. 556 five, should kind of explode and just throw shrapnel. We'll see. Did nothing. This was. Right here, uh, you can see where that was hit, looks like. So this pushed back a little bit, I think. But that's where it hit, threw it this way, and we got nothing. We're gonna try to just blast the plate with several more rounds. Uh, Donut's gonna pop it and see what happens. Okay, plate fell over and you got the center block. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Yeah, 
said nothing again. So I really think this one was just a big slug of a bullet flying at it. And I think when it actually gets hit with little stuff, nothing really happens. Some minor scratches maybe? Looks pretty good. I'm gonna say that's a pass. Here I think is also our problem. This is a non-armored piece of steel, so it's like digging a crater. We're gonna shoot this armored steel right here, right in the center, donut, right? Yeah. And exactly. nail it straight in the glasses. I hide behind donut operator because nothing can get through him. <laughs> Just in case it ricochets. Okay, glasses went flying. That definitely took, uh, yeah, took a big hit. Ooh, you can see the, the big black line from the shrapnel from here. Yeah, that threw way more shrapnel. Okay, that's the test. Perfect hit. Went here, straight line. And we lost the lens. So that was where it was lined up. You can actually see where it bent the frame. Do you know where the lens is? We found it. <laughs> it was like 20 feet yeah, over there. Yeah, 20 feet, yeah. Looks like a chunk of it hit here, bent the frame, and then completely snapped it right there. Would it have gone into your eyeball? Yeah. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. For sure right here it looks like it, but uh, I can't tell if any of those are actually holes or... I mean, I'm still impressed. That was, yeah, that was three still, inches away yeah. from, from the... <laughs> like direct impact from a whole chunk of bullet. I'm not impressed. <laughs> That's it. I need diamond lenses. So we take back what we said about gators in the other video a little bit uh, because we were shooting their non-ballistic ones. Sorry, gators. We love you. Thank you for sending these for your rebuttal video. I'm very scared. Very cool. <laughs> hey, I was just thinking, um, if Donut can throw this knife and stick it in a tree, we'll put in an extra $100 with each knife that we give away. But if he misses, you get nothing. Oh. <laughs> you get five tries. Five tries. I want to spin it. I want him to get this, guys. I'm on your side on this one. Oh, he's okay. He's actually just dulling one of your knives. <laughs> Enjoy the knife, guys. Yeah. Oh, two more tries. Sorry, guys. This is on donut. If you guys don't get the extra hundred bucks. Oh. Come on, don't are you maybe should, should Caleb take the last throw? Don't you have a knife throwing thing in your backyard? I do. <laughs> Stuck in the ground. Guys, uh, sorry, Donut doesn't like y'all very much. Um, so go unsubscribe to Donut Operator. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, wow. Go check out Donut Operator. Go check out Caleb Francis. I'll link them both in the description below. If you want to get a knife, check out the shirts. Well, those are linked in the description below as well. And be sure to check out tomorrow for the third day of Christmas where we have a new gun and it's sick. Thanks for watching Nibbles Ranch. I love you. And I'll see you next time. It's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor.